Christmas tree in the background, festive sweater. I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. Hi guys, I'm Franny and welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 23. Today I finally have the video that I have been promising to you since day two, perhaps, of Vlogmas. And that is the books that I would like to find under my Christmas tree or the books that I would love to receive as gifts. Which is not happening because probably nobody is going to give me a book as a Christmas present this year since there are way too many books that I would love to get and does that surprise you? Because it really shouldn't. Uh, since there are way too many books that I would like to get, what I did was I selected some genres, mini genres, and then I went on Goodreads on my TBR shelf and I chose one book for each genre. So this is kind of a dip into my TBR, I guess, in case you guys are interested. And I can assure you that it wasn't easy at all to choose these books because there are just so many and I'm very picky when it comes to books that I'm going to add to my TBR because I don't want to have too many books on my TBR because I don't want to feel overwhelmed but still there are almost 300 books on my TBR shelf so let me just remind you that it wasn't easy please appreciate my effort because it was tough Coffee table books. Now, three years ago, I read Lost in Translation by Ella Francis Sanders and I absolutely adored this book. This is a compendium of foreign words that cannot be translated with one or a few words into other languages without compromising a little bit the meaning of that word. And she has written another book similar to this one, but it's not with words, it's with short sentences. And that book is called Speaking in Tongues. And I haven't gotten that yet. And I really, really want to. So this is the perfect coffee table book that you could wish for and that I wish for. Poetry. I have read a light bulb symphony by Phil K and I really really enjoyed this collection of poems. He is a spoken word poet and if you want to get a taste of what his poetry is like I really recommend you go and check out his repetition video. I will leave it linked in the description down below. That is one of my favorite poems that he has written and performed and I cried when I watched that video and when I watched his performance because it was just so intense and it resonated with me so much because it was about his parents divorcing and his feelings about that and he published another poetry collection which is called Date and Time and I have to get that soon because I'm sure I will love it as well. Graphic novel. A graphic novel that I've been wanting to read for ages is Blue is the Warmest Color by Julie Marot. This is about a girl who is exploring her sexuality. She falls in love with a girl and she realizes that she might be a lesbian and the story is basically about that and the whole graphic novel is in blue. The art in it is absolutely stunning and I've heard that the story is just so intense and beautiful and I really really want to read this graphic novel. Short stories. Okay, so this year I've heard a book mentioned quite a few times and it was weird because I had never heard of this book or this author at all. I don't think he is as famous in Italy as he is abroad. But since that first time that I heard it mentioned in a booktube video, it's like I keep hearing his name and his works mentioned over and over again in videos. You know how it is when you don't know something and so you just go by without really noticing this thing, but then you become aware of this thing and suddenly it's everywhere and you cannot avoid it. The same thing happened to me with this book and it is the complete collection of P.G. Wodehouse. I don't know much about it, but everyone seems to love his short stories. I don't know anything about his short stories. If you guys have read them, definitely let me know in the comments, but I don't know. I just want to see for myself what the fuss is all about, I guess. Nonfiction. Now, the nonfiction book 
I would love to get and if I don't get it and I won't of course uh, I'm totally gonna get it for myself at the beginning of 2019 because I just I want to because I'm just obsessed with this person at the moment and the book is Good Morning and Good Night by Lynn manuel Miranda he is a songwriter, he is an actor, you might have heard of him. He kind of wrote the musical Hamilton and he also wrote the songs for the Disney movie Moana. But the reason why I want to read this book is because I love Lin-Manuel Miranda as a person. I have watched so many interviews with him and he's a sunshine. He's always smiling and he is so sweet and filled with joy and he is such a precious human being and I love him on Twitter and I want his book. I just want it. I just do. Classics. The classic that I want to read soon is The Curious Case of Benjamin Button by Scott Fitzgerald. I have not read anything by Scott Fitzgerald. I haven't read The Great Gatsby. It's not a famous, I mean, it is a famous classic, okay, it really, really is, but I think that, I don't know, here in Italy it's not, again, as famous as it is abroad, which is fine, we have other classics here as well, you know, but still, I haven't read anything by Fitzgerald and I really want to, I'm curious to see why everyone is just so in love with his books and with his writing style and I wanted to start with something perhaps shorter to just get a sample of how he writes so I would love to read this book. Now we're getting into the nitty-gritty here so literary fiction the literary fiction book that I'm just I really want to read I cannot stop thinking about it as of late Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Is this a literary fiction? I think it's a literary fiction. I think so. It is to me. This is such a polarizing book. You either love it like crazy, like you're obsessed with it, like it's your favorite book of the year, or you hate it so much that you cannot just even look at it. And I think I would be in the first group. I think I would love it. Perhaps it's because there's a dislikable main character. This is another book that is among my priorities for 2019. Historical fiction. An historical fiction book that I've been wanting to read for, again, ages since the first time I heard this book mentioned is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I have studied ancient Greek and Latin literature in high school for five years. This book, it seems, is loved by people who have studied Greek literature and people who had never heard of it before. And I don't, I just, I want to check it out. Why yay? Because lately I've been starting to get back into YA, kind of. I'm still very critical of YA because there are just some tropes that I cannot stand for the love of God but still there are some very good YA books out there and just because they're YA it doesn't mean that they're not good books okay let's not be pretentious snobs okay there are some good YA books out there and so one YA book that I would like to get to sometime soon is Down and Across by, my gosh, his name, I'm so sorry, Arvin Amadi. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't think so. But this book came out last summer and I didn't get to it and I'm so, so sorry because the synopsis sounded so appealing and this is just a book that I would love to check out, hopefully soon. Fantasy, because of course I couldn't have done this video without some fantasy in it. A fantasy book, a fantasy series that I would love to start is the, well, I don't know how the series is called, I cannot quite remember right now, but the first book is called The Thief by Megan Turner, and this series has five books in it right now, I think. The sixth one is coming out in March 
of 2019. From what I gathered, this is supposed to be a fantasy series where, you know, there's a thief that has to steal something and that is kind of like one of my favorite tropes of all times. Like, that is the trope that you also have in The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, which is the first book in the Mistborn series. And you guys all know how much I adore and worship Brandon Sanderson and the Mistborn series in particular. And this is just a trope that I love, as I was telling you, but it's also very heavy on the political aspect. And I absolutely love politics in fantasy books. No matter what happens, I will read this book in January. Mystery. A mystery book that I would love to get to is The Red House Mystery. Yes by the author who wrote Winnie the Pooh because this month I discovered Winnie the Pooh. I've watched the Christopher Robin movie and I loved it. I read the Winnie the Pooh book and I loved it. And I want to read something else that this author has written. And it is for adults. It is quite different from Winnie the Pooh. And I want to check it out. Middle grade. Um, there's a book that I've been searching for for ages. And that book is A Mango Shaped Space by Wendy Mass. This is an old book, okay? It came out in 2000 and I don't know what, but you know, at the beginning of this century, <laughs> I wanna say. Um, and I have been looking for this edition and I cannot find it anywhere. If you know where I can find it, please let me know because I just cannot seem to find it anywhere and I want it. Okay? Okay. Translated fiction. Convenience store woman by mm, Sayaka Murata. I hope so. Um, I've heard so many great things about this book. It is about a woman who is kind of stuck in a job that she likes, but to people that is kind of a transitional job that you do before you figure out what you actually want to do in your life. And I'm just interested in that concept, you know, the fact that she is happy doing that despite what other people say. It might be because I myself don't know what I want to do in my life, so perhaps reading about this woman might kind of make some anxiety go away or it might enhance it you know that could happen it's a possibility i've heard so many great things about this book and i would love to get to it in 2019. and last but not least the final category is special edition and i have chosen a book that i already own but i it's not that i want this special edition, I need it, okay? I need it. And it is the collector's special edition of, do we want to say it all together? A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This book. I don't know how this collector's edition is exactly, but I know that there's, you know, the story of the book, but there's also a lot of insights and, you know, between the scenes and, you know, stuff about the movie because they made a movie of this book and it was gorgeous. And I cried so much when I watched it because it was fucking perfection. I need this book in my life. Soon. This was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for the second to last Vlogmas video. Warm hugs.